shot that's not just wide. What an opportunity right there and a collision back behind the Islanders net. And LaRue going right at Elliott. Denoyer's in there. Those two will throw some big bombs. And LaRue ended up on the ice after took a couple of shots from Drew Elliott. But uh, some good shots going both ways in that one. Drew Johnston now, he looks to be on top of Elliott Denoyer. Deep in the Islanders' end, so the temperature rising on this one late. Just 5.5 seconds left in this first period, and it's the Moosehead's two leading scorers right in the middle of it. Drew Johnston still exchanging some words as uh, he heads off to the Islanders' dressing room. Elliot Denoyer will make his way down the tunnel toward the Moosehead's room. That's not a fantastic trade-off at all for the Mouchets after what was a pretty great-looking scoring chance. And LaRue obviously taking exception to that hit. He got finished here. He had his back turned, was losing an edge, and Elliott finished him off. So that was what drew the ire. A pro this year, no, no doubt. Get a look somewhere. Not a lot of pro opportunities early on in the no. season. No, a lot of jobs shut down. Trudeau, and what do we got here now? Let's see. That's going to now. Beauregard is going to be piled into, and then it's uh, we got more fisticuffs out off in front. Patrick Gay is going to be into it as well. Cameron Wynott, Plandowski. Trudeau can't find a man. Now we got some rights. Patrick Gay is going to get some punches in on LaRue. Oh, a right by Gay that lands. Another right by. Uppercut this time by LaRue. I think LaRue might have been caught off guard by Gay. Barron's going crazy on Beauregard. This, this, these things happen when you play the same team 17, 18 times. Gravel and Beauregard. Zach LaRue will streak back up ice the other way down the left wing. Got held up there by Shortle as that box fired around the boards. And Shortle and LaRue still all tied up. And now F.J. Buteau coming at Zach LaRue. He got David LaFrance now down low right side. Shot by LaRue right on. And sprawling out to his right to hang on as Filion. And now we've got some rough stuff below the goal line as Iacenza and LaRue get tangled up. Barbashev jumped on that pile. We've got more stuff happening behind the net with Anthony Hamel. And Jordan Dume here. Zachary LaRue, I think, is going to be sent to the Halifax dressing room. And we've got some penalties to sort out here. Hamel has gone to the box for Moncton. LaRue has gone to the Halifax dressing room. And Jordan Dume as well is in the box for Halifax. Pass Rondo. The check keeps with it. Try to poke it over there for LaRue. It's worked up top now for Furlong. Furlong creating some space for himself. He'll Take it down toward the corner here in the Sherbrooke end. Furlong still on it. It's, we got some chippy stuff there in front of the net. It was Grobiar, the netminder, and Zach LaRue engaged. And we we're going at it in front. Zach LaRue he escorted to the Mooseheads dressing room it would appear right now making his way down the tunnel 24 seconds left on that instigating penalty to Sherbrooke's Max Blanchard it looks like the Phoenix could be off on 
an extended power play. So LaRue did get a couple of pokes. He was kind of hanging around the blue paint there. He took a, I think he may have taken a blocker to the back of the head from Robillard. And LaRue retaliating right there. We got a fight back behind the play. Zach LaRue and Connor Shortle as LaRue is going to take a couple quick shots right there. Some lefts and more lefts coming here from Shortle as LaRue tries to fight his way back with some rights, but Shortle's going to take him to the ice. Connor Shortle there. Perhaps uh, Surprising LaRue again, it was some quick lefts. And Zach LaRue after that big goal is going to make his way down the tunnel. Again, it was Connor Short a little earlier on that threw the.